the fuck out! Oh, get the fuck shit. out the car! Hey, 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 someone is trying Sit, get out the fucking car! Come on, man! I... Get out the car! Sit. Look, I don't want no trouble! Oh my fuck! Hey, Dad, I'm gonna go back home. Hey, hold up a minute. Come here. Remember what we talked about. One more situation, I want you back home for good. I can't risk losing my only child. See you later. Hey, one more thing. Yeah? Don't think for one second that those people are your friends. Everyone isn't the same, Dad. They're terrible people. They run around killing each other. As long as I'm paying the rent on that loft, I don't want you hanging around them. If you didn't want me hanging around them, then why did you get me a place that's so close to them? Don't question me. Listen, I got some property to check out. I'll stop by. See you later. I'm surprised you still come around here. Just come by to check on you, make sure you're good. No, I'm cool, man. I'm surprised. I just got some fucked up news, though. I'm getting put out of my house. You behind on the rent? Nope. It's gentrification. Some folks with money decided they wanted to buy some property around here and kick all the less than fortunate to the curve, so... Why are they doing that? Money. 25 years my family had had this house, and all of a sudden the new owner decided that he wanted to do something different with it. Do you have family you can stay with, or? Nope. Mother's in prison, serving 20 years. She's been in there for 15 for armed robbery. And my dad is dead. I'm sorry to hear that. How'd he die, if you don't mind me asking? He was killed while he was sitting in his car. The streets ain't no joke. He was killed by the police. But, I mean, that's in the past. So, right now I just need to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with him. Well, you know, if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. All right. Look, I just need somewhere to stay for right now. Can you look out for me this one time? Who's the white boy? He just driving me around today. Now look, they about to put me out of my ass and there's nothing that I can do about it. What happened to your house? The landlord sold the house. Now look, Keisha, you the only person that I can come to. And you know I ain't got no family or nothing. I don't know what to tell you. You got a new boyfriend or something? Don't worry about it. Look, I'm doing me, okay? Bye, Troy.
What'd she say? So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. It's like my whole world just crashing down at one time on me. And I don't know what I did to deserve this. This is so fucked up. You can't just kick people out of their home like that. When you got money, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm just trying to stay on the right path and just keep them out of trouble. It's hard, man. It's, it's really fucking hard. Troy, I want to thank you again. There's not many people I could think of that would have done what you did. It's no problem, Doc. But why? Why did you do it? It was the right thing to do. You be safe for her, BJ. Thanks. Hey, Troy. So yeah, man, I got an extra room and you could just stay here as long as you'd like. This is nice. I expected you to live in a mini mansion or something though. Nah, my parents do. Oh man. You be bringing any females up in here? Nah. Just focused on school and working. Yeah, right. You got a bathroom in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in there. Oh, right. for sure, man. I appreciate this too, man. Not a problem. Oh, you a lot. DJ, I got you the good stuff. Hi, Dad. Um, your man told me about this whole food store. They got a lot of healthy stuff. Now's not a good time. I have an exam and I got to study. Well, and... Hold on, I got you. Bananas, I got you. kale, okay. tomatoes, naked smoothie. You're really gonna love the naked smoothie. I'm sure I will, Dad. I, I... What the hell's he doing here? Yeah, this is Troy. He's just visiting. We talked about it. I don't want people like him around. We talked about this. Dad, you don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, coming around my son causing trouble. Dad, he isn't causing any trouble. He has no place else to go, so I let him stay here. What's too bad? He can't stay here. You've got to go or I'm calling the cops. But what? I'm not doing nothing. Because I rented this lock for my son, a college student, a working young man. I don't want you around here. You people are trouble. Get out. Now. I'm sorry, Troy. I don't want any trouble, sir. But just so you know, I'm not who you think I am. I might not come from the same place as you or have as many opportunities, but you ain't got no clue what it's like growing up in a neighborhood with as little to no hope, or not having your mother around because she was locked up for the last 15 years of your life, or not having your daddy because he was gunned down by the fucking cops. Now you can stand here and pass judgment on me all you want to, but it's people like you in this world that make it hard for people who ain't got nothing to be a good motherfucker. But I'm trying. I'm trying. I was just trying to help him because he's about to be homeless. So thanks, Dad. 
I don't want to take any chances. I'm allowed to tell you who you can hang around with. I gave you life. Well, he saved my life. Do you even know why he's limping like that? The night of the carjacking, it happened right in front of his house. I don't want no trouble. Are you okay, man? You all right? Shit, we gotta get you to a hospital. Come on, I'll drive you. Come on. Why didn't you tell me about this before? Because I knew you wouldn't believe me. You're so blinded by your racist ways, Dad. You don't understand that the people that you least expect, you end up needing them the most. Can I help you with something? First off, let me start with apologizing to you. BJ told me what you did for him. I want to thank you for protecting my son. I've always had a grudge, hell, I'll say it, with black people. But you made me realize not everybody's the same. I'm sorry, Troy. You live here? I used to. You can put out tomorrow. I gotta tell you, I bought this property from my good buddy Harris about a month ago. Oh, so you the one that's putting me out? It's only business. But you can keep your home. I'm just asking one thing from you. Can you please forgive me? Thanks, Paul. Thanks. Thank you, man. Thank you.